What's happening everybody? Trey here, joined as always by my dad Sean, and today reactions to the classics. We got a triple shot to Love and Rockets Grupa. We covered a little yes. bit before on the channel, man. This comes courtesy of suggestion from our patron CSN, and uh, the three songs we're doing today, and we're going to go kind of in chronological order from when yeah. they were released, we got the, uh, uh, we're starting off uh, with a bang with the Kundalini Express. Then we got Mirror People and uh, probably their biggest hit yeah. went uh, number three on the Billboard chart, So Alive. Which I'm sure I've heard. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't sound familiar to you, I'm sure the second I hear it, I'm going to know it because that was, I think, 89 maybe. Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah. Uh, so I think... Surely I know it. So uh, looking forward to that, y'all. And uh, at the end, we're going to see which one of these is going to come out on top as our favorite. Uh, we've done some Tones on Tail. We've uh, done some uh, uh, Bauhaus yes. as well, which um, you know Daniel Ash is a, a part of and kind of the, the leader of this group. So looking forward to hearing more from them. If uh, you enjoy this video, y'all, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and uh, hit that big red subscribe button we upload every day you can check out all our social media down below also have a podcast that drops every friday yep. and if you'd like to support us maybe get us to react to a song you um you'd like us to you can check out our patreon link down below but um all that to say we're just going to kind of get rocking and rolling with this as always we're going to have the lyrics pulled up this first song is from the record express uh, you have David J um, on vocals, so and not Ash, so that's going to be a little different from the other two tunes that we're doing. And uh, 1986, 1986, yeah. man, about a six-minute-long tune right here. So uh, looking forward to this, man. As always, CSN appreciate the support. Yeah, definitely, man. And, Thank uh, you so much. we will be curious the uh, the progression here of uh, of this group. I liked what we heard from them last time I we did reacted. As well. So, anyways, y'all, let's uh, let's get rocking. Here comes the train, baby. Uh, that's right. Like the heaviness, didn't expect yeah. that. Yeah. our train man <laughs> Heavy metal sound, yeah, exactly. in it, you know, did what I didn't expect, man. <laughs> All aboard, man. Woo -woo. Yeah.
we got coming through both had yeah. one set of pan and some cool production. Right, man, the Kundalini Express, um, definitely a lot heavier sounding than I expected. Yeah, very long intro and outro, mm -hmm. too, added a couple minutes at least to the song. Yeah, it was like they just mixed five different genres You're and musical right. styles and threw it all into one, man, because, you know, the chorus took on a totally different sound. A lot more pop-centric. Yeah, I was going to say a lot more pop-centric, but yeah, an interesting song, to say the least, well, and I, I applaud them for, for tackling mm -hmm. that. I, I like the little kind of effects too, where you heard the little train, yeah, and, man. Stuff, and then uh, at the end with the little uh, kind of harmonizing the woo. -woo. Yeah, uh, I thought that was neat. I think he, uh, David J, who was on lead vocals here, since he's got that deeper, uh, stronger yeah. voice, it kind of uh, lends, I think, uh, a little better to this heavier type I agree. of hundred uh, percent type of sound. Um, Not overwhelmed by the instrumentation mm -hmm. behind it. Yeah. No. Yeah. Good point. Uh, so I, I I liked kind of how they uh you know connected the whole uh the the train thing mm -hmm. and uh and whatnot i don't know i don't know what kundalini means i don't know if it's a place if it's uh i don't either i man. needed uh i should have looked that up before we got here but let us know in the comments what uh what that means in particular and um but uh i i dug it too I dug some of the the lyrics as well and then yeah just that uh nice heavy drums yeah. on that outro um and now it playing in my head right now. yeah <laughs> and now we're gonna skip ahead to uh their album earth sun moon when going to the song mirror people so About a year later man yeah so this one has uh daniel ash back in his normal spot for okay. lead vocals so let's uh let's see what we got Check here man off to a good start. Again, 
very kind of booming drums yeah. coming in here too. Very heavy. Lends to that gothic post-punk uh, nature. This is actually the lead yeah. track off Earth, Sun, Moon. Um, definitely a different uh, different soundscape than uh, the yeah, Kundalini totally different. Express. Um, uh, and uh, pretty uh, dark at times lyrically mm-hmm. uh, as well. Yeah, Because I could be nothing at all. Because I should be nothing at all. And at the end of the day, I wish I could be nothing at all. Um, but then that chorus was kind of catchy with the harmony. Yeah, it was, man. I, yeah, the diversity in that. I think... You know, if you could strip away the drums in there, the drums are really good, but the drums are mm-hmm. really heavy in the mix, mm-hmm. especially towards the last half of the song. You could strip that out. That guitar and that mm-hmm. soundscape, almost, uh, it's very influential on an Oasis type of sound You're or right. even on a My Bloody Valentine type of sound. Yeah. It's that, that loud guitar with just the strong... Kind of that ethereal type yeah. of uh, feeling in there. No, that's a good uh, good comparison there. Um and uh, again, a little bit just like uh, the Kundalini Express, mixing some genres and sounds. Yeah, man. This did that as well. The chorus got to get in there mm-hmm. nice. And... Um, I, I think I like the drums a little more than you did, just the the heaviness yeah. of it. Um, oh, no, I, don't, I didn't mean in that. I need a chorus. No. I didn't mean I didn't like the drums. I just meant if you stripped them out, yeah. you, could, you could hear that more. That's than true, that. yeah. Um, but yeah, man, I enjoyed this one. I'm not sure if I like this one or the opener. I like the opener more, more but now I'm very curious to know Ooh, cause if I know this freaking song. I mean, I was a senior in high school. I should know this song. So we're going to So Alive um, from 1989 from Love and Rockets, 
self-titled record. Um, so as I mentioned, uh, hit hit pretty high up on the charts, yeah, man. Real high. Uh, so I'm looking forward to, to seeing what they got there since it was such a big uh, chart success. I wonder if it's more pop, you know, That's obviously what I'm thinking. in nature. I'm thinking it definitely is going to sound different <laughs> two years later. Let's see. Let's see what we got. kind of slowly fade out the uh yeah the tracks as well which is interesting um so alive uh so as we mentioned in the review kind of had those echoed vocals yeah in in a sense there uh, that catchy chorus yet again um and kind of interesting lyrics he doesn't know what color eyes are but uh he recognizes the hair the legs and she doesn't come from this town um and uh mentioning that he can't share this with uh with her um there's nothing to do with her i i think he's kind of uh 
infatuated. Yes, he very even much. mentions your strut makes me crazy, makes me see you more uh, clearly. Um, wish I could stop, switch off the clock, make it all happen for you, but uh, I, I don't think it's working out for him just off of this first listen here, but um, uh, I thought it was a solid track. Actually, not going to end up as my favorite, even though it it was, uh, you know, their biggest hit of the yeah, three yeah, years. Yeah, I knew it. Did um, you? Once I heard I, that chorus. Mm -hmm. um, you know, for me, here's the thing. Here's what I'll say. I'll preface what I'm going to say by this. <laughs> Look, groups have to have hits, mm -hmm. and they have to write commercial songs at some point, because otherwise people are, A, you're not going to eat. Yeah. <laughs> And B, people aren't going to discover the rest of your your stuff. Mm -hmm. That said, by far, this is the most boring instrumentally yeah. to me. Me this too, man. This is the most man. boring was... period of any of their songs that That's we've heard. That's why I was like, man, the... But I get it. I mean, I'm not knocking yeah. them. I get it, you know, and it's a time and place. This is definitely a time and place song. The other two songs are far more interesting to me. Uh, me too. I, I would go for favorite tracks. I'd actually go in order, man. So would I. And David, it's close, but I'd go one, two, three. Yeah. D David J uh, came in at about uh, plus 800, I think, on his odds to, to come out on top. Yeah, here. I think he did too, With, especially uh, coming against a song that was uh, number three yeah, on the charts. Yeah, but uh, hey, his, his lead vocals on uh, Kundalini Express for me. Um, I agree. And just how heavy the, the track was and how it mixed. I'm, uh, I'm going that as my favorite with with uh, Mirror People coming in next, and then So Alive actually yeah. coming in third. That's where I am. Uh, yeah, it's not a bad song, no, but it's not, yeah. It's I'm with just, you. It wasn't as interesting no, to me as, uh, as the first But you got to do that. You got to pay the bills, man. Oh, yeah, and that's why I like doing these triple shots, and I appreciate CSN kind of giving us some of the deeper Yeah, and cuts. he gave us a nice, yeah, great diversity there, which he does. Mm -hmm. You know, he always does. He always, the three tracks yeah. are always, you know, different. So, so uh, very, very cool, man. Love and Rockets coming in uh, strong again here for us here at the channel let us know below which of these three songs was your favorite maybe it is so alive man you can tell us how wrong we are yeah exactly but uh it uh, happens sometimes <laughs> as always appreciate you see us and appreciate you uh, always for for stopping by dad and until next time thanks for watching y'all happy listening and we will see you